So you guys know that I check out so many different location changing softwares. And honestly, dude, what's one more? I'm gonna be checking out Mock Pogo. That's M-O-C-P-O-G-O. -O, and it's a location changing software that you can use on Windows, Android, iOS, Mac, literally anything that you own, you can use it on. So it's great. It has a ton of cool features. I'm so excited to check it out. But if you guys do enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It does help me out a lot. I think over 80% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel yet. So dude, go help me out. Drop a sub. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers. But the link to download Mock Pogo will actually be at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment. Go check it out. Let's get right into the video. All right. So here I am on Mock Pogo's website. And I wanted to quickly show you the features before we're actually showing you the software itself. So basically, right here we can see that it does actually support windows 11 10 8 and 7 so literally any version of windows you can be running this it offers you for you to change gps location to iphone android simulate gps movement gps joystick mode and multiple device control which is always good right here it shows the different apps that it actually works with so we got all these different games and then dating apps as well as life 360 and then it also says change gps location to anywhere in seconds you can enter location name or coordinates randomly add pins of the map add historical addresses to go to spoof locations without jailbreaking which is super important because i know there's a lot of different ways to actually change your location but a lot of them actually require a jailbreak which is not good for your phone at all so this is always a good little feature so that's always good to have a software that doesn't require a jailbreak so anyways this is just going over the different features but now i'm going to boot up the app and let's get started okay so here i am i got mock pogo open and if you guys don't know pogo pokemon go I'm actually just going to press start and I'm actually going to click on iOS here and I'm going to actually plug in my phone via this USB-C to lightning cable just like this and we actually have it connected now so we can see that the iphone shows up as a wired device so we're just going to go next and then now it's going to actually walk us through the process on how we actually need to enable our device to actually be used with the software so i'm going to open my phone real quick i'm going to go to settings i'm going to scroll down to privacy and security right here and then i'm going to go down to developer mode and i'm actually going to turn that on and it's going to require us to restart our phone so you can see my phone is going through the restarting process. So, and it just disconnected from the computer. So I'm gonna let it restart and then I'm going to pick back up once it actually reconnects to the computer and it fully reboots. Okay, so my phone's open. I just have to enter my phone password to enable developer mode. And just like that should be good. It's gonna install the Apple driver on the phone itself. Just installing the Apple driver to actually make the software compatible with my phone. So just give it a second to load. Okay guys, so basically, we have mock pogo open up right now it just installed the actual driver onto my uh, phone so basically i have my location starting in new york for some reason so basically you guys can see based off of my phone right here i am in new york let me just quickly show the camera new york city um so that is basically that and i don't live in new york so that just goes to show you already that it's teleported us now in terms of the different features of the software itself um let me just quickly walk you through it so the cool thing about top left here we can type in um whatever so i'm just gonna type in disney it's gonna load some search results I'm just gonna give it a second all right so some allocation to this random place in germany let me quickly just show you the top left um so for example i can look up somewhere like disneyland and then what it will do is it will actually allow me to pick from a list that'll appear here so just let it do its thing for a second it's gonna pull up some addresses so just like this we searched up disneyland it's gonna give us the coordinates for here we're gonna press go and just like that we have been you know we're in disneyland now so that's always cool so that is basically just the basic teleportation feature i'm gonna quickly show you the point a to point b feature so for example uh we got two spot mode so it's a b a or we could do a to b and then a to b again we can loop it and make it realistic if we wanted to i'm gonna go to go and what it's gonna do is it's gonna show us on a walking route and we can change the speed we can change it to a car obviously it's going to complete the route a lot faster so we can see here that it is moving us super super fast if we slow down obviously 36 kilometers an hour it's going to move a lot slower versus you know that 100 kilometers an hour you know we're going to be ripping it on that map basically so that is the two spot mode and what i'm going to do i'm actually going to cancel it so i'm going to 
pause it, pause it, and we're gonna actually switch on over to the multi-spot mode. So the multi-spot mode is the same exact concept. Um, you're just able to pick a bunch of different spots. So let's say you do something like this, you go, go, and it's gonna take us from this first point to this second point to the third point to the fourth. Um, and you're able to do this, you know, as many different times as you want and loop it. And again, change the speed. Um, so that's also a really cool feature. Let me actually quickly just pause that one right here. Then lastly, you know, we got the whole, and lastly, we have the joystick. So we're able to kind of control, and I'm just gonna turn this down a bit in speed. We're able to like move us manually with the whole joystick kind of thing to make it look like we're able to control it. So we're able to go back, we're able to change it to looking up here. We can make it do a full 360. We're gonna make it look up here, go this way. If you wanna do it like this, go this way. If you wanna make it go down like this, just go this way. That's basically that. We could also import previous um, route information. Um, but yeah, that's basically that, dude. If you guys did enjoy and you want to go check this out, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. What's your favorite part about this actual app? But make sure to go check out Mock Pogo using the link at the top of the description. I appreciate your guys' support. We're super close to 100,000 subscribers, so make sure to drop a sub. It helps me out a ton. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.